Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're tackling this mess of a storage room. I honestly can't even believe I am finally posting this video. I'm so embarrassed at how bad this mess is. It's just completely out of control, as you can see. I get so many comments asking how and where I store my home decor items, and I always respond with the storage room, but you've never seen it, so here it is. I think the past three months or so, I just started throwing things wherever because going into this room would give me such a headache. Even if I moved a couple bins around or tried to make a space, I couldn't because to be honest, this stuff is just so old and mostly to be tossed out. So I didn't want to get into it all if I wasn't ready to start the process of sorting and throwing away. I can't spend more than a few minutes in here without feeling super overwhelmed. Actually, the entire basement makes me feel overwhelmed until it's completely done, but this room always makes me just feel bad. Kind of like a dark secret in my home, and I just hated it. It's a good space and actually a really good size, as you can see, with a little window and some lights. So with some attention, it can turn into a great use of space. I just knew it would take some commitment and energy. So here we go. Let's get started sorting and throwing out. I like how the end result is, so if you like the before and afters, make sure you stay for the satisfying end. I'm definitely going to keep working on this area and hopefully keep updating it and making it actually fun to go into. So over time in other videos, I'm going to update you with the new organization in here. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. You don't miss any videos like these from me. And if you have been here before, thanks for coming back for another video. Okay, so let me just quickly explain what we're doing. We don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> we have a little bit of a plan we're gonna start by taking out one side of the storage room so the luggage stuff like that um, that is over in this area of the room let's see we already got a lot of it out and then throw out whatever is thrown gonna go out and simplify that and then move on to the next section and this area right here is just mostly decor that is not really stored properly and um, I have some more right here which is Halloween and fall and some luggage and we did also bring in one of the um, garbage cans which is pretty much this was empty it's pretty much full now these are broken suitcases and things that we just don't need because they're broken. So I'm gonna keep going through all the luggage that's over here and start clearing out space. We also had to bring down our little puppy. Um, she's right here with us, but she's crying because she's not used to being in here. She really only is in here when she naps. We don't keep her in here, but we can't keep her upstairs by herself. So, and we can't let her roam around the basement. So we put her in here and she's just not happy about it. So, um, we had to put her in there to keep her safe. So we're just gonna start uh, going through the rest of this luggage and whatever's broken, I'm gonna toss out and see what to keep. Aw, baby, you're fine, you're okay. You're okay, you're okay. It's just like having a baby. And then, so I'm just gonna keep going. Without any warning, we're sucking up the oxygen. The room is getting smaller. We always have it coming, like animals who like to bite. Tasting our disaster. Twenty something seconds go. just a quick update let me show you what we did so we have this area cleared up and from when we did our garage declutter the massive clean out um, last year we do have one um, 
shelf like that, a shelf unit that Craig is going to bring in right now and I'm just going to use to put uh, the decorative, the bins that have all the decor in and just move it over. That way those have a place to be while we move in to the rest of the storage room just to make us not lose our minds. I think that's probably a better way. So he's coming right now with the thing. Hi, honey. Hi. Hello, 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 hello. On and on, 20 something seconds, go, go, go. I'm not ready for darkness. I'm not ready for darkness. So yeah, as you guys can tell, that was just pretty bad. Like I said, there was just stuff everywhere. We had to organize so much. So when I moved into this house, the movers put so many boxes in here and I just really shut the door and walked away. Then the piles grew and the last thing someone wants to do on a weekend is declutter a storage room, but it just had to be done once and for all. So here's your motivation to tackle that big project that you're thinking about, the room that just makes you feel bad. Get in there and change the vibe a bit, clean it out and make it the way you want it, the way it makes you happy. I really love this Christmas wrapping storage bin that I found on Amazon and I actually found even more rolls inside the storage room and I'm just adding them here. I'd already put the stuff I used this season but it was just really a great way to keep everything in one spot that was just for Christmas wrapping and it keeps it kind of safe and clean and you know away from dust and all of that and it's going to be so easy next year to just kind of pull this out and know exactly what I have and what I need to repurchase or what I'm running low on. If you have a lot of Christmas wrapping and you're not sure how to store it, I'm going to have this linked in the description box because I'm using it and I really love it. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more You leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again, so give me a sign, give me a sign, oh give me a sign, baby give me a sign. Give me one more, talking to you Here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign I just wanna let you know I could go for this, no more tricks We could take so I knew I just wanted to get my storage base really nice and neat. So the first thing we did, as you were seeing, is taking things out area by area because we just didn't have the space to take it all out at the same time. I'm sorting and throwing away what is garbage, which ends up being about 80%, 70% of the stuff, and then thinking and figuring out how to organize it so it makes sense for me. My husband had so many opinions on how to do it and it, you can tell in this video we were starting to get annoyed with each other, but I am the one who comes down here and pulls items in this room and I decorate and I put things away. So really it has to make sense for me since I'm the one who uses the things for our home in that way. 
he doesn't decorate and he doesn't use all this cooking stuff anyway so I have to be able to walk in and understand the room and in the end it obviously worked out and we agreed to meet halfway on some things but it was a challenge and I'm glad we got through it together. Okay, so I just want to step in real quick and tell you about the progress so far. This is where there were a ton of boxes that you just saw. I want to say 90% of it was garbage. So now we have this corner. This shelf here is all kitchen things and service things. Um, I haven't really used them in a while, but then again, I mean... They were behind everything so I'm going to go through these I'm probably going to keep some of it um, and make this shelf kitchen and then this area here for now has Halloween and fall things I don't like it because it's covering that window which is pretty much the only natural light that we have so I'm going to move the these probably um, that is Christmas wrapping storage that you saw and then <laughs> this is where things get really crazy um, there's a little bit of decor there I need to go through some of it I'm keeping probably a lot of it I'm not and here are some old pillows throw pillows garbage some old textbooks that I have from school um, Halloween things I need something I can store that in. There's Christmas. These two are Christmas trees. I think I'm going to put them in that back corner that I just showed you. Uh, this Halloween tree, I need to figure out how to store this so that it doesn't break. Uh, most of this is down there, I think is spring. That's pretty much empty. I just have to throw that stuff away. And here's a little bit more Christmas. So. This I'm going to probably sell because it just doesn't have a place in the house anymore. So I'm going to clean this off and probably sell it on Facebook or something. And um, this is pretty much our situation right now. Better than what it was before. I will show you guys the garbage that's outside because it's insane. But back there is all my Christmas bins. I have so much Christmas um, that need to go on those shelves. And we probably are going to need to get one or two more of these uh, to put down that way. And we might be able to fit one, although I don't want to block this area off. So maybe just one more right there for other things. So this is much better than what it was before if you guys remember 
when I showed you, I mean, you can see the floor. We can actually walk in. This is garbage. Um, I mean, I can't even believe that that we got through this much. I mean, this is this is insane. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with the splash gun so I cool down. Won't you come on over? We can party till the sun's down. Baby, let me buy you a drink while we're dancing to blink. I could go for some queen bee. After going through everything and figuring out what we wanted to keep and what we wanted to get rid of, we separated it and we hadn't separated it before really by season and by holiday. I had only put it in the bins that had my most recent decor and stuff. Um, so separating it that way was really helpful for whenever we got ready to kind of put everything back on the shelves. And these bins um, are clear except for a couple that I can label which are the Christmas red ones that I put up high. So it makes it easy, the, the clearer ones make it easy to see what's inside and the color coding works for me really well because I know what section is what and the ones that are not clear I am just going to label them even though they're red just so that I know exactly that they are Christmas. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute I'm high on slow dancing with you One, two, three, keep it going, last forever All blacked out, them flying with you I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames I don't care about the heartache and pain, just don't let the memories fade We ended up moving some of the shelving around and the ones that I will see when I first walk in have all the regular home items like that bottom shelf right there has some airbags and I have the extra cooking trays and serving things on the other shelf. And I know that I'm gonna come back in here and kind of rearrange and figure out uh, the best system for that. I also wanna have two shelves for extra toilet paper and paper towel, that sort of thing, because we do buy in bulk from like Costco and stuff. So I wanna make sure I have a space for those items as well in the storage room. And this little section here is going to be more fall decor. So we have Halloween, Thanksgiving, and all of that stuff. And as you guys can tell, you can actually see what's in the boxes. And the color coding helps me section off the space. So this is something I found as a plus of having these bins. Um, I hung up Christmas and fall wreaths on in wreath bags on hooks on the wall. And I just love these bags. It gets things off the floor and I know that it's protected inside. And then on the inside corner, deeper in, is where the Christmas trees are. And then there's also some uh, bins for Christmas. And you can easily tell that those are Christmas decor. Now I am just showing you and reminding you the before of what this area looked like so yes it's an absolute disaster it's horrible like you can't even get inside really to anything and you could tell here how frustrating it was and just started throwing stuff on top of it and i have only one shelf that has the bins on it and so yeah this is a huge difference the before and wait till you see the after Hey guys so here it is the finished room and as you can see it just looks so much better 
My ultimate goal was just to make sure that I got everything in here that had its own place and I knew where everything was and also that I got all of the extra stuff that was just kind of just sitting there out stuff I didn't need anymore things that weren't serving us now I know where everything is and I know that it's not that pretty right now but it, I need it to be functional so I think we got to where we wanted to be and I love having the bins on the shelves to help keep everything off the floor and it just makes everything easier to access so far I love it and I'm really happy that it's done and you can tell how much better it looks there's room we can actually walk in down this hall now and everything has its own space and I love that it's not just a room like a junk room in our house. So I'm so happy that we were able to get this room all set up and get rid of a lot, donated a ton of books to our public library. I'm really pleased with this space and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these type of organization videos, be sure to leave a comment below and give this video a big thumbs up. I have a couple more areas coming up that are massive declutter and organization. As always, I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.